Hello everyone, my name is Zhi Yuan An, and I'm honored to be here to introduce our work titled Forward Secure Revocable Shikri Handshakes from Letters, co-authored by Zhi Yuan An, Jing Pan, Ya Mi Wen, and Fang Guo Zhang. My presentation will be organized as the following five parts. First, let's discuss some background on Shikri Handshake which, as a fundamental privacy-preserving primitive, allows members in the same organization to anonymously authenticate each other, and then negotiate a session key for further communication. Except for the affiliations, no extra information, including users' identities, will be linked. There have been numerous constructions of SH since its approval. However, none of them consider the issue of key exposure, which is a common threat to crypto system implementations. Especially in SH, this attack will completely destroy the credibility of authentication results. One promising countermeasure against key exposure is forward secure mechanism, where users can themselves update their secret keys in a one-way manner, such that their past transactions are protected, even if a broken happens. Besides, Note that nearly all the SH schemes are designed on the hardness of factoring or DLP, which will be insecure once computer of quantum become a reality. To our best knowledge, only constructions separately proposed in ESORIX 2020 and ICS 2021 are post-quantum secure. However, both of them still lose sight of key exposure resilience. Considering this unsatisfactory situation, in this work, we formalize a model of forward secure secret handshakes and then present a shorter latent based design. Now, let's first re review some basic knowledge of latent theory. There are two hard problems often used in cryptographic. The first is small integer solution, and the other is learning decision learning with error problem. The hardness of both problems are given by a worst case to average case reduction from some NP problems, such as SIVP with a factor gamma. Besides, in this work, we will extensively use some latent algorithms like trapdoor generation and pre-image sampling. The other algorithms are for latent basis randomizations, delegations, and simulations designed in latent based Boise tree and ABB HIBE scheme. Now we briefly recall the zero knowledge systems, which are often used to protect user privacy in network applications. A special term of the key is fit Shamir with a bot, where a prover P tries to prove her secret procession of an NP relation to a verifier B. P first generates a comment using his secret and sets it to V. Then we choose a challenge and set it back to P, with which P produces a corresponding response to V, well, a bot with some inverse probability. In this way, we can check the validity of that commitment. The protocol is often repeats polynomial times to ensure desired soundness. Moreover, it can also be transformed into non-interactive versions by using of the Fitch-Shamir heuristic. That is, 
P will generate the challenge herself through hashi functions. To further shorten the proof size, only part of the commitment is set. And P performs the verification by first recovering the rest part of the CMT and then computes the corresponding hash value and finally comparing it with the received one. In this work, we will utilize an efficient ZK system of this term, which handles the shown linear modular relation of the latent fitness with the quadratic constraints. Now we record a latent based signature which will be used to issue a group credential in our construction. K-generation of this scheme produces a public and secret K-pair using the aforementioned trapdoor generation algorithm. And to sign a message M, it samples a small vector from the coset latents of M's common hus and when verifies the signature by first checking if the vectors have small knobs and then if it follows the specified modular linear relation. Now we move on to the model of a secret handshake, which contains a set of groups managed by group authorities, and all of them share some public parameters generated by setup. For each group, create group outputs its public and secret key pair, and a member errors a new comma into a group by issuing the group credential. Group members can invoke handshake to authenticate each other and produce a communication key. Besides, on receiving the transcript of a handshake, trace member will output the identity of the involved member. And remove member will revoke an active user from his group. To further lift this basic model into the forward secure setting, we first divide the lifetime of an SH system into discrete time periods, then define a new algorithm update by which users can autonomously involve their credentials from the last period into the current one. In particular, the time periods can be viewed as the leaf nodes of a binary tree. We mention here two observations of this notion. One is that for each leaf, there exists a deterministic set containing exactly one ancestor of each leaf between the rest periods. And the other is that for each node in the current set, there is always an ancestor of that node in the period set. To give an example, note that for period T010, the blue box surrounded nodes and T itself are ancestors of the interval lists. Previous work has shown efficient algorithms for both we mentioned operations. To fit the forward secure setting, we strengthen the security requirements of SH, namely now Completeness makes sure that the handshake protocol output output one if both participants are activate with updated secret keys and belong to the same group. Then, forward impersonator resistance now demands that an adversary cannot impersonate a legal member or some corrupted member at the period preceding the one where she was broken into. Third, detect detector resistance requires that an adversary cannot succeed if he activates a handshake with an honest user to identify her affiliation 
at the chosen period. And finally, unlikability is strengthened into backward setting, where it ensures that handshakes involving the same honest user cannot be distinguished even if that user is later revoked. Based on the above newly defined model, we now describe how to build a design using latent techniques. To establish a new group, GA generates the corresponding group public and secret case using the aforementioned latent algorithms. And to enroll a newcomer at period T, the user first generates her user public and secret case, and then sets a UPK together with a short vector proof to GA. With which GA produces a signature and a binding rev revocation token on UPK to issue a group credential. Here, note that to issue the update of that revocation token with time periods advancing, the current leaf is also involved in the formula of that token. And for user secret update, USK is involved by performing latent basis delegation on the hierarchical type binary tree using ABBHIB manner. Well, revocation token is scratched from the period 1 and current period strings. That is, we upgrade the basic VLR method into a time-advanced updatable one. Now, we turn to construct the core handshake protocol, where a member A from group G1 with her credential and member B from G2 with his credential try to authenticate each other. The main gap in here is how to use the K system to achieve the demand of anonymous mutual authentication. The travel idea here is that A directly sets a non-interactive proof of her credential to B. But note that this proof can be publicly verified, which means that A, B can authenticate A immediately without any further interaction. Thus, it obviously constricts the demand of mutual authentication. Another try is the aforementioned first lattice-based SH, which applies the classic store type DK system. But due to the inherent soundness error two thirds, it bears large repetition times and thus huge overhead. Therefore, how to construct mutual authentication with compact communication cost from ZK proof? is still a challenging task. To this effect, we describe our solution. Note that the verify step actually checks that if the received challenge is equal to the recovered one. So we mix the original challenge with the king's change element and use this new challenge to produce a corresponding response. For B, receiving the modified proof, he and Euro first assembles the whole commitment by recovering the reserved part. Then he can compute the original challenge by simply computing the Hasi function, and finally retrieve the hidden matrix from the mixture. In this way, B can get the session K by use of the underlying KE protocol and generates a map tab of this K. B also sets the modified proof at the map to A 
such that in the second flow, they can both authenticate each other and produce a same session key. Here, we stress that the aforementioned recover with implicit check strategy may be served as a generic approach of anonymous mutual authentication from ZK systems. Now we take a closer look at how this strategy is applied in our scheme. To handshake with B, A generates a key pay key pair and encrypts her group identity, communicates to her revocation token, and finally embeds the KE public metric into a ZK proof, employing the aforementioned technique. Note that the original proof is actually showing that A has a legal credential and has the related user secret key and that the ciphertexts and the commitment are well formed. This task is handled by reducing the overall linear modular relations on latents into an instance of a generic liquid compiler that we have recorded before. To manage group members, GA treats a member by describing the ciphertext of that user's identity. And to revoke an active user, GA first deletes it from user's list and then adds the current token to public revocation list. We now briefly show that our scheme meets the security notions of a forward secure SH. First, we prove that it satisfies completeness. Suppose that two legal users belonging to the same group conduct a handshake. First, Alice sets a modified proof of her credential to Bob, with which Bob can correctly recover the original commitment and then retrieve the hidden matrix. And so does Alice. The internal key then make sure that they, they can share a same session key. In this way, after sending each other the authentication code in the second floor, they can both correctly verify it. Which means that the protocol will output one with overwhelming probability. To prove forward impersonator resistance, we will prove the following theorem for which we use a successful adversary to build an algorithm F that solves a specified SIS problem. For challenger F, given the target uniform matrix A, it first guesses that A will choose ID star and T star as the challenge identity at time period. Adversary A can make any queries to F with only one condition that it cannot corrupt in the target user ID star before period T star. To answer the query of ID star after T star, F performs the following steps to embed the SIS matrix A into that user's public key. Such that he can perform the all updates of that user's credentials. Finally, A conducts a handshake with F. Since A wins a game, the protocol must output 1, which implies that the simulated proof is valid. Thus, by using the well designed knowledge extractor, of the underlying data system and the technique of random oracle rewriting, F can finally get another vector V star and obtain Z as a valid SIS solution. As for detector resistance, we design a sequence of hybrid games to show that 
two handshakes of the selected users are indistinguishable under the assumption of LWE. Since the details of these games are somewhat completed, we are not going to describe them concretely and only list the results here. Backward unlikability is proved in a similar way, except that here we have to make sure that A gains no extra advantage even if it obtains the revocation tokens at later periods of that target user. Thanks to the vulnerabilities of the user update algorithm, this claim holds under the attack of key exposure. Finally, we analyze the complexity of our scheme. From the above construction, we have the security parameter related bit size of our design as follows. Then in table one, we show a detailed comparison of our scheme as the only known latent-based one, from which we can learn that forward security is achieved with a reasonable increase in communication cost, thanks to the more efficient ZK system we used. Besides, our scheme allows dynamic user enrollment. In other words, users autonomously generate their secret keys rather than being issued by GA, which prevents malicious GA from framing honest users. Now let's make some conclusions. In this work, to settle the problem of key exposure in the field of SH, we first formalize the model of forward secure secret handshake, where we introduce a new user update algorithm and consider much stronger security notions to fit this setting. Then we build a design with revocability using suitable latent techniques. In particular, we upgrade the existing state take VLR method into an updatable one, such as users' anonymity is preserved even if they are revoked. Moreover, we heuristically show how to, in a generic manner, transform fit Shamir with abort ZK systems into anonymous mutual authentication. To look ahead, there are still some interesting future work in the field of post-quantum secret handshake, such as using more structured, structured latents to yield more efficient scheme, or equip SH with some desired functionalities, like being fully dynamic or deniable. It's also worthwhile to explore more generic framework and real-world applications of SH. That's all for my report.